In today's video, I'd like to show you how to make a flexible transfer using a transfer medium or a transfer glaze. And by that, I mean that it is a very soft, pliable film that can ultimately be used to cover an area that is completely 3D and curved, like this piece of ostrich shell that I have here. So you will know that if you have worked with other transfer mediums such as packaging tape, you can lift the images, but if I were to try and put this onto a shell or something where it's curved, it's going to kink, it's not going to want to hold down. But this method will allow you to be able to get your image to lie absolutely flat, and I'll show you how to do that a little bit later on. So the process is as follows. You're going to need some transfer glaze or some transfer medium. Um, there are different things that you can use other than this, but we won't discuss that today. And then you're going to need to squeeze some out over your image. So I have here an image that is just botanical, and I have chosen what I want. And I'm going to just spread this with my finger. In the years of teaching classes, teaching people how to do this, teaching them how to do decoupage on eggs, if you are applying this with a brush, my experience has been that people tend to pull off more of the, the glaze than they're putting on. So by spreading it with your finger that you are making sure that you get a nice even coat and then you can just brush it, so to speak, backwards and forwards. You would like your image to be slightly larger than the actual image because that gives you the opportunity of cutting it out if you wish. You don't need to because your film is going to be so thin. But you also want to try and avoid having very, very thick edges. Um, because that is also going to make a ridge when you come to undo it. So I'm going to set this particular piece aside and leave it to dry and then I will put a second coat on just to make sure. So quite often when you're applying something do one coat left to right and then the next one do it top to bottom so that you make sure you don't miss any spots because that would be tragic. Um, the images that you want to work with could be photocopies, they could be something from a laser print or from a magazine but you don't want to work with inkjet because inkjet, um, the ink isn't waterproof and so it's likely to come off. So this is an image that I coated previously and I have soaked it in some water so that the backing becomes nice and wet. And you will see here that I have started to roll away some of the paper that was on the reverse side. So the normal image paper or the image on the opposite side is just being rubbed away. And I will continue to rub this away, keeping my finger parallel to the hard surface that I'm working on. I'm just using the lid from an ice cream tub. It's quite nice because it's got a little area here to catch the water. And just keep rubbing away, making sure that you're pushing all this excess paper off your transfer because otherwise you stand the chance of making a little hole by rubbing this over the same place. If you find that your paper gets very, very dry, then all you do is you just pop it back in the water for a little bit, let it soak a little bit more, and then you can continue. And you would continue to peel away all this backing paper until you've actually got it all um, off the image. Sometimes you might need to dry it and then come back to it and then redo it again. Now, I've got to this stage where I've got my image with the paper all off, and you will be able to see that by not seeing any little white flecks in the design, but you can see it is extremely floppy. And if I'm going to stick it onto something like an ostrich egg, I ultimately am going to need to seal it in and glue it down. But to begin with, because your image isn't that big, you can just use water to get that down. So I'm going to pop this into some water, soak it on both sides, and then I'm going to put this onto my shell. Now you can already see it's wanting to kink up in several different places, but because it is very, very thin and because it is very, very flexible, I'm able with my finger to slightly stretch it and slightly maneuver it. You see here I've already got problems. So because I can pick this up and slightly stretch this flexible image, I can get this on here very smoothly. You want to make sure that you haven't got an edge where you've had a thick area of the transfer medium that you would probably want to cut away. You can see one of the advantages of this is that 
it really doesn't look as though there's any film on here at all. And if you're going to do traditional decoupage where you put on quite a few layers of podge before you actually varnish it or you do several coats of resin spray, then you're not going to notice it. So with this image, I've got that onto my eggshell very, very easily simply because it's been nice and flexible. I would now take this image and coat it and it's going to be sealed in there so I don't need to worry about it lifting off and then I would varnish it. But if I had a larger image, I would simply have put diluted um, PVA or craft glue onto the shell and then work this. But then you've got to make sure that you work all the um, little bubbles of, of glue out so that you don't have images. I used to make a lot of these um, decoupaged ostrich eggs and sell them all over the place in Namibia and down at our tourist waterfront and that. And um, yeah, did many of them, especially maps of Africa onto the egg. So I take a whole map and wrap it using this particular technique. But it's rather fun and it really is suited to working with curved surfaces. It could be a vase even that you want to just give a different um, feel to. Um, I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Please give me a like and a thumbs up. Comments in the comments box below if you have any questions. I'm happy to answer those. And um, please subscribe. I'd love to have you part of my community. Bye for now.